It's no secret that you have to deal with the tricky situations in your separation or divorce carefully to avoid running into some really serious problems. I will discuss how to deal successfully with these difficult areas in the separation or divorce process in this video so that you do not panic or get frustrated and make some really bad decisions. Hi, my name is Thomas O'Malley. I'm an experienced family lawyer in Durham Region and the GTA. Please may remember to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so already. One really difficult situation for many spouses getting separated or divorced is participating in an actual court hearing or court appearance. I would be surprised if you were not a bit anxious about going to family court in the first place. Here's the key. Your family lawyer should make sure you are well prepared for your court appearance. I discuss in detail with each client exactly what happens at their court appearance. I explain to my clients that the judges are actually really nice people. The judge in most situations has read my client's court material in detail so that they have a good understanding of the case and the situation. Your lawyer should explain to you that the court appearance is almost just like an orderly discussion of the legal issues in your case. The issues usually involve child custody and access, now called decision-making responsibility and parenting time, child support, spousal support, and the property issues. One of the most important documents for your court appearance is called a brief. I carefully prepare this document for each client's court appearance. I carefully set out my client's position on all the issues in the brief after a detailed meeting with my client about the issues. The, ju the judge will read this important document before my client's court appearance. The brief really helps to tell the judge about your position on the legal issues in your case and why you want the court orders that you're asking for. When your family lawyer carefully prepares you for your court appearance, you can deal with the situation much more calmly and you'll then be in a position in which your former spouse will be much less likely to get you upset or frustrated. Another important area in which you must not let your ex-spouse upset you or push your buttons is in the process of trying to settle your family law issues with a separation agreement or court settlement. You need to make sure you don't let your former spouse push any emotional hot buttons when they're making any silly or unreasonable settlement proposals to you. You have to understand that your spouse can easily be testing the waters first to see what you will accept to settle the case so that you can move on with your life. Take a deep breath when you read any settlement proposals from your former spouse so that you do not get too upset that they make unreasonable claims or allegations in their settlement proposal. You need to take control of the situation by making your own reasonable settlement proposal to your former spouse. Just make sure you have full financial disclosure from your former spouse before you send a settlement proposal to them. Your family lawyer will discuss your options in detail on the best ways to protect your family law rights and settling your family law issues with your former spouse. In fact, your family lawyer will draft a carefully crafted separation agreement for your review and approval based on your discussion with them. By knowing about these critical emotional triggers and situations that you will face in your separation or divorce, and how to handle them successfully, you'll quickly find that your family law case goes much more smoothly with a final settlement. If you have any questions about your separation, divorce, or family law case, and you'd like our help, feel free to contact me on my Facebook law office page at Somali Family Law, 
or call me 905-434-8837 and I'll point you in the right direction. Please make sure to share this important information and video with your friends, family members, and co-workers so that it helps more people avoid serious problems in their separation or divorce before it's too late.